antiviral principles so now we will see uh, what are all the plant extract or uh, what are all the different types of uh, plants that having uh, that possess the antiviral properties or antiviral principles so my name is N H Shankar Reddy and I am doing PhD plant pathology in Anamal University so presence of certain compounds in plant leaves which having the capability of uh, uh, viral uh, which having the capability to inhibit the viral infection or which having the capability or to manage the uh, plant viral diseases are known as antiviral properties or antiviral factors or antiviral principles so certain leaf ex leaf uh, certain leaves like you know sorghum leaves or certain leaf extract like sorghum leaf extract or coconuts or bougainvillea or prosophis joliflora and cyanodan dactylan are uh, known to having this antiviral properties so as i told you that antiviral properties some of the leaves which having the inhibitory action against the plant viruses is known as antiviral principle or antiviral factors so now we will see how antiviral properties are extracted and how antiviral properties are uh, uh, in, uh, antiviral properties are extracted or produced so here uh, for uh, sampling i am telling you i am uh, explaining about only sorghum related things so here uh, dried sorghum leaves are collected or from the sources or from the fields and 20 kg of leaf powder is mixed so initially uh, the, leaf, the, the leaves are collected and it is dried under an uh, shade condition then uh, 20 kg of leaf powder that is the sorghum leaf powder is mixed with 50 liters of water so after collecting and dried we can mix it or mix it the sorghum leaves or we can mix it the sorghum leaves and 20 kilograms of sorghum leaves is collected and mixed with 50 liters of water and this mixture is heated for 60 degrees centigrade for one hour so after that we have to filter the solution and make it into 200 liter let us consider after uh, after performing the first step so 20 kilograms of leaf powder is mixed in 50 liters so that if let us consider if we if we if we get uh, of 60 liters or 50 liters of uh, sorghum leaf extract that we have to make it into 200 liter by mixing the remaining amount of water let us consider if you only got 50 liters remaining 150 liters of water can be added to this solution and make it into 200 liters of solution so this consists of 10 percent extract so this consists of 10 percent extract so again 500 liters of spray solution are required for one hectare so that uh, regarding our our you know agar our land or regarding our requirements we can made the leaf extract as i told you the uh, uh, as of uh, compositions as i told you so two sprays are given at, at, at 10 and 20 days after sowing two days, sprays can be given 10 and 20 days after given here dried sorghum leaves are collected and 20 grams of leaf powder is mixed with 50 liters of water and can be heated at 60 degrees centigrade for one hour so this solution can be made into 200 liters this contains 10 percent extract nearly an average of 500 liters of spray solution can be required for one hectare according to that we can prepare the solution of leaf extract sorghum leaf extract here we are we are giving the two solution sorry two sprays that is uh, uh, given at a one uh, once in a 10 days so two sprays are given by at a 10 days and 20 days interval after sowing so how management of plant pathogens uh, how the plant pathogens can be managed as sorghum uh, by using this uh, leaf extract now you will see the leaf extracts of sorghum can be used against bud necrosis virus whereas 10 percent of leaf extract of prosophis juliflora and cyanodactylan cyanodan dactylan is effective against tomato spotted wilt viruses in tomato so this uh, sorghum extract can be effective against groundnut bud necrosis whereas the extract of Prosophis juliflora and cyanodon dactylan can be effective in a tomato spotted wilt virus. This prosophis juliflora and cyanodon dactylan also can be prepared as we mentioned earlier. So the same procedure but the extract may be different. Here the antiviral properties are extracted from the bougainvillea, spectabilis and prosophis, prosophis chilenensis were found to be effective in reducing the sunflower necrosis virus. So uh, this two extract like bougainvillea, spectabilis and prosophis, prosophis chilenensis are effective against sunflower necrosis virus so the leaf extract also known to contain some proteinaceous substances which induce the plant viruses so now we will see what are the mechanism involved in this where antiviral proteins are the plant antiviral protein extract so as i told you this contains some protein like structures so this antiviral proteins are this antiviral proteins are extracted from the plants are 
it's actually induced or produced by the living cells of the plants so that can be interfere with the virus replication so if if this antiviral proteins produced by the living cells of plant if it interfere with virus replication the virus can't able to multiply and the can't able to uh, infect more and more number of plants or the severity of infection will be reduced here so the main mechanism will be uh, here is inhibits the viral replication and the viral replication in a host and the cell to cell movement and the cell to cell movement this is the main principle and the mechanism of uh, antiviral proteins